I think I will be rocking this wig this week to work. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Athena if you guys are new here. So welcome, welcome, welcome. So today I am back finally with another wig review. I will be reviewing a braided wig this time. Now I have always wanted a braided wig. I had one before but that thing was so heavy it wouldn't even stay on my head. But today I am here to show you guys this beauty here. This is the Swiss Lace Wig Cloud 9 and it is by Sensational. I also got this wig in a color number 2 and as you guys can see there it has a 4x4 lace parting. So of course if you're interested then stay tuned for that. Now if you are interested in this wig that I currently have on, for some reason I got a little hump going on. But this is Miss Tiara. She is also by Sensational. I will leave the link down below if you guys want to check her out as well. Because I did do a review on her. So of course guys let's go ahead and get into this Cloud9 braided wig. Let's go. Okay guys, of course I'm just taking her out of the pack and this is what the stock card looks like and also this is what the back looks like. Of course the girl had it, has it here like a braid up and kind of to the side if you guys can see that. Okay y'all, let's see. Here we go, stuff falling out. So this is what the braids look like. This looks really, really natural. And of course as you guys can see the baby hairs now it doesn't come with a lot which is what I really really like so I don't have to do much to it but they are pretty long nothing wrong with trimming that down a little bit okay so as you guys can see you see what it looks like the parting space on this thing is absolutely amazing um, I absolutely love it, especially for a synthetic wig. I think it looks fine. Also, as far as the fit for the cap, um, it's really snug. It's not too tight and it's definitely not loose. Now, usually I have to put um, the got to be glued and the freeze spray across my entire hairline. But because this area right here lays down pretty flat already, the only thing I will be putting is right here on my ear tabs. So I will be putting the got to be glued spray and also the gel right there just to hold down this and then of course you guys will be seeing me kind of lay down some of the baby hairs so let's go Now, of course, this is what she looks like after I have glued down the sides just with the got to be glued spray and of course the gel. So that's it. As you guys can see, this is not going anywhere. And of course, this is this side. As you guys can see, it is not going anywhere. So now what I'm going to do is just try to lay down some of these baby hairs. So okay y'all have these little baby hairs done so now all I'm going to do is tie it down for about 5 minutes and of course I will be back to show you guys what it looks like afterwards and also to see what different types of styles we can do with this bad boy. Alright y'all I am back so let's go ahead and get this head tied off and let's see what it looks like. <laughs> baby that got to be glued do not play. So of course this is what it looks like as a side part. It is really bulky up here though. So 
Now one thing I do like about these braids, they go either way. They, they're not just designed to go to the left side or the right side. So I like that about them. So they're not stiff at all. So let's bust it down the middle, y'all. Let's see what the middle looks like. And this is what the middle looks like. So very, very nice. I do like it. Only thing I would say that I really don't care for about the wig is that it is really bulky for some reason right up in the center part. So now let's see what other hairstyles we can come up with. I'm going to try to see if I can put this part into kind of like a little top knot and go from there. Let's see. As you guys can see, this wig is not moving at all. The gel is holding it down pretty good. I absolutely love this style too, y'all. You can rock this thing in so many different ways. I absolutely love it. Now, the only thing I would say that I really don't care for with wearing this wig up is the fact that you can, like, see the little demarcation right here. It looks like a track. It is a track. I can actually feel a track right here. So now some of you guys may not like that look. So of course, maybe if you want to take a row of your braids out just to kind of cover it, you can do that as well. But let's be honest, guys, this is a wig. So it's a wig. <laughs> but for the most part, I am absolutely happy with the way that it looks. And let's see if you want to put it into a little ball. So of course it looks good in a little top bun as well. Of course if you guys want to do your bun a little bit neater than this one. But I like it like this. So of course I'm going to just turn around and show you guys what the back looks like. Um, the cap is really snug. It's not, not tight at all. Um, let's see. This is what the back looks like. I have no clue what it looks like y'all. But it doesn't feel bad. So of course... The back so I do like it I will take these five minute braids over eight hour braids any day I know I've been seeing some other girls talking about it as well um, of course we all have our own opinions about it but um, I like it I just don't like the bulkiness like right here just feel like a pad it's like it's padded or something let me show you guys what it looks like in there so it's very full so I, I wouldn't say it was skimpy it, to me it is very full but once again if you are interested in this wig I will leave the link down below in the description box for you guys to check it out and of course to go and buy if you are interested thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't please hit that like button and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys on the next video